Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working on a DIY radiator cover. Um, I am actually in the middle of doing our hallway transformation. This is the final bit that I kind of need to build to get that room completed. So I thought I would share with you guys the process. I actually have done some DIY radiator covers before that haven't been that successful. So I'm going to try and take what I've learned previously and apply it to this project and share it with you guys. So there are a number of reasons why I want to make my own radiator cover. First one kind of being the, a lot of the radiator covers I see online are quite traditional. Um, nothing wrong with that, but it's just not really the style that I'm looking for. I have found stuff that is more my style, but it tends to have a really, really hefty price tag on it as well. So I feel like I could kind of build exactly what I have in mind, get it perfect, and also save a bit of money at the same time. So that leads us on to the plan. I've seen this kind of style of radiator cover on Pinterest, Instagram, all over. Um, and I wanna go for this really kind of simple, modern, wide slat design. I think this will look really good. It's really simplistic. It should hopefully be relatively easy to build. And also it's kind of practical as well. It'll allow a lot of like circulation for hot air to come through um, the radiator cover as well. So I'm hoping this is gonna be the perfect solution for us, but obviously we will see. I'm gonna take you guys through everything. I popped a B&Q yesterday and grabbed all of the bits that I need. So the things that I grabbed for this project Firstly, I got four pieces of timber to do a frame. I grabbed these ones from B&Q. They are 2.4 meters long, 34 millimeters wide, and 18 millimeters thick. They were £4.27 each. I picked up one sheet of six millimeter MDF. I got that cut at B&Q. Um, so in case you don't know, B&Q, you can get your first five cuts for free, or if you have a trade account, you get your first 15 cuts. So I got two pieces cut, which are 20 centimeters wide. And then I got loads of slats cut, which are 10 centimeters wide. I think he cut about 14 of them for me in the end, which I think is more than I'm gonna need, but I thought it'd be better to cut her on side of caution. Um, and I also kept the scrap as well, so I can use that for future projects. So, so far this project's cost me 40 pounds, which is quite a bit cheaper than your average kind of radiator cover anyway. Um, so I'm gonna be using a few bits that I already have, like paint and things on top of that. But step one is going to be just constructing this frame. Um, I'm kind of procrastinating now. Let's just get on with it. Okay, so the frame is all built. I thought I'd just quickly kind of explain what I did because to be honest, it was kind of like trial and error. So I've done a big kind of rectangular frame going along the front. I've done kind of the same going along the back, but I haven't put one, a piece like on the floor along the back because I'm not actually gonna attach this to the wall. I wanna be able to like slide it out and kind of like get to the radiator if we do need to. I've just put in some kind of little supports there as well to join them together. I basically just drill pilot holes, put screws in. It's pretty simple, um, but yeah, it feels really, really sturdy actually. So you could attach this to the wall, but obviously we're not going to. Um, so plan now is to start getting it all cladded really.
Okay, so all of the slats are on. I just attached them with my nail gun. It's looking pretty good so far. Um, now what I'm gonna do is grab my filler and I'm just gonna go along and just fill in these like tiny gaps, let that dry, give it a quick sand and then we can move on to the fun bit, which is painting it. Right guys, our radiator cover is all done. I've styled it all up in our newly decorated hallway. So if you guys haven't caught that video, make sure you subscribe because we've got loads more coming. But the radiator cover is all done. Let me show you what it's looking like now. So it is such an improvement for what we had previously. We had a console table there before, it was way too big and the radiator was still a massive eyesore. This is so much more smaller, compact. It's making the hallway feel so, so much bigger. It's not obtrusive. The only regret I have is that I think I made it a little bit too short. Um, I'm not 100% happy with all the styling. Um, I don't love that mirror there, but the actual radiator cover itself, such an improvement, exactly what I wanted. So I am really, really chuffed with it. In the end, um, I said that I got four pieces of wood to do the frame and obviously the MDF. There was like more than enough MDF than what I needed. Um, and I actually only ended up using three of those bits of wood for the frame as well. So I can't remember how much it cost me in total. I will put the number here for all the wood that I used and then everything else I had, like the nails, the paint and everything was stuff that I already had. So it was a pretty affordable, project in terms of difficulty it wasn't that bad it's just time consuming and a bit faffy so i think anyone could honestly take this on but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts on the radiator cover drop a little comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and i will catch you guys in the next one